Hi friends, you are highly welcome to this session where we do the rating and review of side hustles. So in summary, we're looking at the ratings and review of this side hustle and we'll be reviewing each of the side hustles based on how easy it is to start, how easy it is to maintain, what is the starting cost or the budget as you want to start. So how easy it is to make your first $100 just as a way to tell you how profitable can it be and what is the level of competition that you should expect in this side hustle. And our scale is from 1 to 5, where we say that 1 is difficult or expensive and 5 is easy and cheap. In an exam, you want to get 5 over 5. That will help you to remember that the goal is to be getting 5. So our goal is to be getting 5 star, 5 star, 5 star rating, 5 star review, which means it's extremely good. It's extremely cheap. It's value for your buck. So that's our goal to be getting five star. So, but when we get one, it means it's difficult. It's expensive. It's extremely competitive. And just somewhere like three means it's in the middle. It's not extremely expensive. It's not extremely cheap. It's just somewhere in the middle, like $1,000, $100, and something like that. So as an example now, we will start with print on demand. And I've explained to you about the print-on-demand business. That if you have a taste for fashion, if you have a taste for design, and you can upload it on this website. So how easy it is to start a print-on-demand business? It's very easy to start. Do you have a design? Even though you don't have a design, you can make a design easily on Canva today. At the end of this course, you can go to Canva and make a design that you upload on Redbubble, LC, Printful, Printify, and several other selling platforms, including Amazon and eBay. So you can even have your own shop on Shopify to tell you how easy it is for you to start. So just have a design or create a design. The design that suits you, what you want, what you like, start your print-on-demand business today. So it's extremely easy to start. We're giving it a five-star rating. How easy it is to maintain. Of course, you do nothing to maintain. Once you've uploaded your design, you do nothing else to maintain it. So it's very easy to maintain. What is the starting cost? You don't pay any money to start. It's free to start. And if you're paying for any subscription, you're paying for like Canva Pro subscription, which is about $10. That's if you want to go for the Pro option. There's even a free option that you can use to start your print-on-demand business. And once you start making money, you can upgrade to the Pro version. So. It's very cheap to start. We we'll give it a five star rating. How easy to make your first hundred dollar? As I explained earlier, that when we give something a three star, it means it's in between. It's between one and five, which means it's not very easy and it's not very difficult. The reason why it's not very easy and also not very difficult is because it's your first design. It's your first T-shirt. So if I make a T-shirt design now, let's say this, and I put the design on a t-shirt a lot of people want to see ratings and review of it before they purchase so since it's your first design your first print on demand t-shirt to get ratings and review is difficult to get ratings and review is difficult i have made this course for a while now and i've been pleading to you to rate and review and as of the time i'm making this video there's no rating yet there's no review yet even though people are taking this course so for you to understand that, it takes a while to get ratings and review. So, and when it comes to spending money to buying things online, people want to see ratings and review. Especially when it comes to shirts. People want to see, oh, not just your design, but the quality of the shirt. Is it okay for them? They want to see that other people have bought it and they say that, oh, okay, it's very fine before they can make such decision. So it takes a while to get ratings and review, which impact you making sales and therefore making your first hundred dollar but once you start getting ratings and review it's very easy for you to start increasing your sales and increasing your revenue when it comes to the level of competition we are giving it a one star rating because it's extremely competitive we said that it's easy to start it's easy to maintain and the starting cost is close to zero dollar so because it's simple it's easy to start anybody can start it so therefore a lot of people are into the print on demand business and the level of competition is extremely high. That's why we're giving it a one-star rating. It's extremely competitive. It's difficult. It's competitive. 
So the next one we have, the second one is selling handmade product or digital products. And we said that you can sell your digital products on IC, eBay, Shopify, and other selling platforms. Now, is it easy to start? To start your digital product is very easy to start. You can make a calendar, you can make a sellable print. So it's very easy to start. But when it comes to handmade product, it's not very easy to start. Imagine you are the guy that's doing this. It's not so easy. It takes a while. We'll give it a three-star rating. But if it's a digital product, we'll give it a five-star rating. So since we, has, we have both options here, I try to give it a four-star rating here, which means to sell a digital product is very easy. To start the business of selling digital product is easy. But if it's a handmade or physical product, it's not very easy. So that's why we are giving it a four-star rating in between the three-star for handmade product and the five-star of digital products. So how easy it is to maintain? To maintain a digital product is very easy. You give it a five-star, you upload it on the website and you forget about it. It's as easy as that. What is the starting cost? You don't pay any money to start, just like print on demand. And if you want to pay any money, most likely you are paying for a pro subscription on Canva or any other website or software that you choose to use. But it's zero to ten dollars for you to start. So it's cheap. How easy to make your first hundred dollar? And I told you that once you give something a three star rating, it's somewhere in between. Since you are selling something online, it takes a while to get rating and review, which will impact you making your first hundred dollar. Once you start getting ratings and review, it becomes easier for you to get more customers coming to you. What is the level of competition? It's easy to start, it's easy to maintain. Therefore, anybody can start it. Anybody can start the business, can even see your product and copy your product or duplicate your product. So it's extremely competitive. The competition is extremely high. The next option we have is trading. And we said that for trading, you can start your account on Robinhood, on eToro, on Trading212, and several other platforms like that. And you can trade shares, ETF, forex, commodities, bonds, option futures. There are several things you can do as a day trader. And we are saying that, is it easy to start trading? Yes, it's extremely easy for you to start trading. Just open an account as I'm making this video and you can start trading. But as always, it's advisable to start with paper trading before you start with real money. Is it easy to maintain? No. It's not easy to maintain because as a day trader, your eyes on the screen 24-7. You are looking at the screen to decide if you want to buy or sell. Sometimes day traders may have up to four screens they are looking at. So it's not easy to do that on a daily basis. So that's why we give it a one-star rating. It takes time. It takes effort to maintain. What is the starting cost? You can start with $100 and you can start with $1,000. You can equally start with $10,000. But if you start with $100, the profit is very low, $1, if you are starting with a low amount. But if you are starting with a higher amount, like $1,000 or $5,000, your profit will be higher, let's say around $100. So the more your starting cost, your initial budget, the more likely you will make profit or higher profit. Since you can start with somewhere in between $100 and $1,000, we we'll give it a trade starting rating. It's somewhere in the middle. How easy it is to make your first $100. Of course, if you are starting with $100, to make your first $100 is very difficult. But I want to assume that you are starting with $1,000 or $5,000. So in such scenario, to make $100 is very easy. One trade can give you $100. So it's extremely easy to make $100 in day trading. Please be aware, as much as it is easy to make $100, it is also easy to lose $100. And what is the level of competition? Now, when it comes to the level of competition, we are giving it a five-star rating, which means it is not competitive. You are doing the day trading in your house. I am doing the day trading in my house. So, and your friend is doing their day trading in their own house. So, there's no competition. My win or my loss does not affect you. Your win or your loss does not affect me. So, there's no competition. It's open to everybody to start. So, since anybody can start it without affecting another person, the competition is a five-star rating, which means it is not competitive. It is not. Because my trading does not affect your trading. Now, we also have 
tutoring as a side hustle you can start where you can teach chemistry, math, geography online at the comfort of your couch, as I always say. So, how easy it is to start to start tutoring? It's very easy. Just register on the website I've given to you, which you can see here. And you can start tutoring students. So it's very easy to start. How easy it is to maintain? I give it a faster rating because you have to be doing it on a daily basis or on a weekly basis. It's not extremely easy to maintain because you have to do it either twice in a week or, or three times in a week. But also it's not as strenuous as day trading. What is the starting cost? You don't pay any money to start teaching. They even pay you to teach. So it's a five-star rating. How easy it is to make your first $100? Hmm. To make your first $100 is not very difficult because they can pay you for one hour about $20 or $25. So since they can pay you about $20 for one hour, if you teach for five hours, you've already made $100. So we give it a five-star rating. So in one day, you can make $100. What is the level of competition? It's easy to start. And I told you that once something is easy to start, there's always that element of a lot of people starting it. So it is competitive, but not very competitive like print on demand. So it's somewhere in the middle. That's why we're giving it a three-star rating. You want to teach, some other people want to teach, but not everybody want to teach. So we give it a three-star rating. Just as a recap, we discussed about ski teaching, where you can teach on Skillshare, Coursera, Udemy, Tinkific, YouTube, and several other platforms. And is it easy to start teaching your ski that you know? Yes, it's easy to start, but you need to buy the equipment. So that's why I gave it a three-star rating. Even though it's easy to teach, sometimes you have to prepare for the course, do presentation, rehearse, practice. It takes a while. It takes a while, actually. So I gave it a three-star rating. If you're making a random video, it's not very difficult. But if you are teaching, you are imparting knowledge, you have to go and study what you want to teach and be sure that you are right. Sometimes it takes time to make PowerPoint, just like the one that I've made for you to make it easier for you to understand. And sometimes you may need to think of jokes or something funny to keep their attention. So it takes effort. It takes a while for you to do an excellent course. I give it a three star rating because I'm into it. It's easy to create an account. In fact, it's easier to be a student than to be a teacher. So I give it a three star rating. How easy it is to maintain. Of course, that's the fun part. Once you've made it and uploaded it to a platform, you don't do anything else to maintain except to answer some questions once in a while. So it's extremely easy to maintain. And what is the starting cost? You don't pay any money to start. You can make your course and upload it on Udemy, Skillshare, Coursera, and several other platforms. And they won't charge you. In fact, they even pay you to teach. But you may need to buy the camera or the equipment by yourself. Sometimes you can also use your phone if it has a good camera quality. So we'll give it a five-star rating. Since I assume you already have your phone and your computer, if you want to do screen recording, so maybe what you need to buy is just like your audio device. It can be as low as $20 for you to start the, the business. So how easy it is to make your first $100? To make your first $100 is easy and also is difficult. It depends on how many students are taking your course. If a lot of students are taking your course, of course, it's very easy to make your first $100. And if nobody is taking your course, it becomes difficult to make your first $100. Most courses that sell already have students, already have students from another platform. So maybe it has a YouTube channel with good number of subscribers. So you can always channel those subscribers to Skillshare or Udemy or any other platform. But if you are starting from scratch, you don't have any student coming from anywhere. It takes you to have a quality course to start drawing students. If your course is not quality enough, students may not come. So it takes a while to make your first $100. But also overall, I want to ask you, you will make a quality course. So I give it a four-star rating. So if you make a quality course, to make your first $100, it's not difficult. What is the level of competition? Jesus is extremely competitive. Extremely competitive. You want to make a course on stock market, other people have done it. You want to make a course on photography. There are a lot of photography courses on this platform. So it's extremely competitive in the sense that other people are making courses just like you. So I'm even making free courses. They can even see a free version of, of that course or something similar to it on YouTube. So it's extremely competitive when it comes to making online courses. Now we also discuss about online consulting. 
and we said that it's similar to making courses, but instead of making courses of your ski, you are offering consultancy service for your ski. So you can be on beauty, on project management, on software. What do you know about? You can be a consultant by registering on Fiverr and Upwork. If you have very good ski in an area, you can start offering consultant advice or service to people. You can be cooking, anything, just like him that's teaching her how to exercise. So you too can do that and you can do it on Zoom and Skype. How easy it is to start. It's very easy to start. Register on Upwork, Fiverr, Guru, Freelancer to offer your service. How easy it is to maintain. It's easy to maintain because I assume you already have the skin. But you know, you have to be doing it for multiple clients. So that's why I have to reduce it from five star to a four star rating. Because you have to be doing it for multiple clients. So it involves work. It involves time. What is the starting cost? You don't pay any money to register on Upwork or Fiverr. So it's a five star rating because the budget is zero dollar. How easy it is to make your first hundred dollar. I want to assume that you will charge somewhere around thirty dollar or twenty dollar or even fifty dollar. You can even charge hundred dollar for your first job, depending on how much time it will take you to make your first hundred dollar. It's not difficult. It's easy because if you are charging even twenty dollar, if you do it for five clients or for five jobs, you will get. $100. And sometimes only one job can give you more than $100. So I'm giving it a five star rating. Competition is extremely high. Remember, it's easy to start, it's easy to maintain, and it's $0 to start. So in such scenario, many people will be into it. So the competition is very high. If you go to Fiverr and Upwork, you will see massive competition. Now, the next one we have is YouTube. And I gave an example with Ryan Kaji, that was the highest paid YouTuber in 2018, 2019, and 2020. And I guess you already know about YouTube. So is it easy to start a YouTube channel? Of course, just create an account. If you already have a Gmail account, you already have a YouTube account. It's as easy as that. So to start uploading videos to YouTube is very easy. You can use your phone to make the video and upload to YouTube. It's extremely easy to start. Is it easy to maintain? It's not easy to maintain, actually. But I give it a five-star rating because if you do one, it becomes very easy to do it over and over again. I want to assume that it's what you've done before. So since you've already done one, to do other ones become very easy. And equally, I give it a five-star rating because once you upload a video on YouTube, the video will be there forever. You don't do anything to maintain it, except to answer your comment if you choose to. So to maintain a video that you've uploaded, it's a five-star rating. If you want to upload subsequent videos, it's not so easy. It also involves work. So that would be like a three-star or a four-star rating. But once you upload a video, it's there forever. So which is a five-star rating. What is the starting cost? To start your YouTube channel, you spend little to nothing. You already have your phone. You can buy a microphone of about $20. And you are good to go to start making YouTube videos. And if you want to start your YouTube channel, you can use a free software to edit your video, like Resolve. Even me, I'm using Resolve to edit my videos. So DaVinci Resolve is free. There's a paid option, but the free option will be okay for you to start. In summary, the starting cost is about $20 just to buy your audio equipment. So that's why it's a five-star rating. And as expected, once it's five-star here, five-star here, five-star here, it means a lot of people will be doing it. The competition will be extremely high as expected and youtube is extremely competitive there are several topics on one niche there are several creators in one niche is it easy to make your first hundred dollar no it's not easy to make your first hundred dollar because you need to have at least 1000 subscribers and 4000 watch hours so to get your first 1000 subscribers an average YouTube channel takes about 100 videos. So you're looking forward to upload at least 100 videos to start making money on YouTube using Google AdSense. So, but there are other ways to monetize like affiliate marketing, sponsorship, and several other ways. But if you want to use Google AdSense, which is the easiest way, it takes 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 watch hours in the last 12 months to start making money on YouTube. And again, depending on how many views you have, if you don't have a lot of views, $100 will still be a far reach, but as you start getting views and several views, it becomes very easy to make your $100. In summary, to make $100 is not easy. It takes a while, like six months, eight months, or even one year. Once you've made your first $100, it becomes easy for you to increase it, to start making more. As your views 
increase. Please, at this point, I want to plead with you to rate this course and review this course. I believe it's a 5 star rating. I believe it's a 5 star course. But if you have any reason why it should not be a 5 star course, reach out to me in the comment section in the discussion tab and let's talk about it before you rate. So the next one we have is Twitch, where we said I can do live streaming of whatever you want to live stream. And is it easy to start? Yes, you can create an account on Twitch and start. Is it easy to maintain? Yes, it's very easy to maintain, but you need to keep streaming over and over again. So that's why it's a four star instead of a five star. You need to stream over and over again, but it can also be a five star rating, just like YouTube. What is starting cost? You don't pay any money to start. Just like YouTube, you can buy your audio equipment if you choose to, and it's about $20. Is it easy to make your first $100? Of course, it's easy to make your first $100 on Twitch. It's easier than YouTube because I think you need like 50 subscribers or 50 followers and three recurrent visitors to your channel. So it's not as difficult as YouTube to make your first $100. So it's somewhere in between. Three star rating. And level of competition is extremely high. Since it's easy to start, easy to maintain, and the starting cost is close to zero dollar. The competition is extremely high. It's one star, just like YouTube, just like print on demand. You should observe a pattern here that things that are done online are easy to start, easy to maintain. The starting budget most times is zero dollar, but the competition is extremely high. So the next side hustle we discussed was podcast. We discussed a lot about podcast where you can upload your podcast freely on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, SoundCloud, Stitcher, and several other platforms. To start a podcast, is it easy? Yes. You don't even need to buy any camera. You can use your phone as a recorder. So it's easy to start and upload for free. To maintain is a faster rating because you have to be doing it on a weekly basis, on a monthly basis, depending on how often you want to upload. But once you've uploaded it, it will be there forever. So it's a faster rating. The starting cost is very cheap to start. You just need to buy an audio equipment and have a friend that comes on your show. So it's easy to start. It doesn't involve a lot of work to start. How easy to make your first $100? I give it a one star rating because the way podcasts work, you are paid about $20 for each 1,000 downloads and to start having 1,000 downloads for a podcast is not an easy feat. It takes a while to start having people listening to your podcast and downloading it. It takes a while. It takes a while. It takes effort. Some people, it takes them six months. Some takes them one year just to make their first $100. So it takes a while. So to make your first $100 for a podcast is not easy. And the competition is very high. Anybody can start a podcast. So there are several podcasts on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts. There's competition, too much competition in different niches. If you want to talk about football, there are people already talking about football. If you want to talk about beauty and fashion, people are there. If you want to talk about online courses, people are there. So there's stiff competition when it comes to podcasts. So the next side hustle that we have is stock photographer. Where we say that you can sell as an individual or you can sell to platform. You can also create your website and start selling like a collection to people. And is it easy to start? Yes. Do you have a phone? You can start it. Take pictures, take photos, take videos with your phone and upload to this website. So it's very easy to start. Is it easy to maintain? Yes. Once you uploaded your photos or your video, you do nothing else. Except you want to go and take more. Then you go out and take more videos and more photos. The starting cost, it gives the first rating because if you want to buy like a camera or a phone with a good camera quality, it's not so cheap. So it's about $1,000. But if you are starting with your phone, which I guess you already have, it becomes very easy and very cheap to start. I gave it the first rating on an assumption that you will start with your phone, then it's not easy. Just take photos of your house, photos of beds, and things like that. How easy it is to make your first $100? It takes a while, I must say. It takes a while. Because to download a, a picture, I think it's like $10. And you have to share the price or pay a commission to the website. If it's 50-50, then that means you're making like $5 for an image. 
So you need to sell like 20 images to make your first $100. And you agree with me to sell 20 images is not that easy. It's also something that's not impossible to achieve. That's why I give it a three star. It's somewhere in the middle, between one star and five star. It's not so difficult. It's not so easy. And of course, it's extremely competitive. Anybody that has a phone can start the business, can start taking videos and photos. It may have the video of a bed. Other people have the video of a bed. So sometimes you may need to edit that video again before you upload so that it looks more beautiful for people to download it. It takes a while. The competition is very high. It's stiff. So that's why I give it a one-star rating. The next side hustle that we have is blogging. Do you love writing? You can write about what you love and start making money from it through these different means that's available. Is it easy to start? Yes. You can create a free blog on Wix or other platform and start blogging. Start writing about what you love. Start typing. It's for people that love typing, that love writing about what they like. And we're even in the modern world, so which means that you can use like Google Doc voice recorder. You start talking to your phone or to your laptop and it will start typing it out for you. So it's easy to start, five star rating. Is it easy to maintain? No. It's not so easy to maintain a blog because you have to keep writing and writing and writing. Imagine like a newspaper. They have to keep giving you daily update. So and also it's not very difficult to maintain because it's already what you love doing, what you enjoy doing. But you have to do it every day or every week. So that's why I give it somewhere in the middle. It's not so easy, it's not so difficult. You have to do it on a weekly basis or on a monthly basis, depending on how often you want to update your blog. The starting cost is five star because you pay nothing to start. You don't pay any money to anybody to start. You can create a free website account. So, and start writing on what you want to write about. Is it easy to make your first hundred dollar? No. To make money through blog is very, very difficult. In fact, it's one of the most difficult way of making money online. It takes a while. It can take you like a year or two years because people have to be reading your blog over and over again before you start attracting advertisers. So it takes a while to get audience. It takes a while to start accumulating audience. So to start making money through blogging takes a while. The level of competition is extremely high. If you type something on Google, there are several people that have answers to it. So you starting your own blog is like providing solutions to a problem. And there are other people that have written something similar to that. So it's extremely competitive. Extremely competitive. If you type about how to dress, there are different blogs on how to dress. If you type on how to dance, there are several and tons of blogs on how to dance. So it's extremely competitive. Influencer. Do you want to be an influencer? You want to start creating content on Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, and several other platforms. It's free to start. Five star rating is easy to start. When it comes to social media, it's easy to create an account. It's easy to start. I'm sure you already have like a TikTok account or a YouTube account or an Instagram account, even a Facebook account. So it's easy to start. It's cheap to start. So the only difference now is instead of being the one consuming the product, you be the one that's making products or making services for people. So which means that you are creating posts or creating videos and to upload is very easy. So it's easy to start, it's easy to maintain and the starting cost is cheap. It's cheap, you don't pay any money to start. To maintain, I gave it a four star, could have also been a five star rating because once you make a post, it will be there forever until you delete it. But I gave it a four star because if you want to chase this side hustle, you need to be doing it over and over again, over and over again. You need to keep posting on TikTok over and over again, every day or every week. Keep posting, keep posting, keep posting. So it takes a while to maintain. So that's why I'm giving it a four-star rating. How easy it is to make your first hundred dollar? It's difficult to make your first hundred dollar because it takes a while to build an audience. Except you are extremely funny, extremely funny. But overall, it takes a while to build an audience. But once you build an audience, it becomes very easy to increase that money. So your first hundred dollars may be difficult. Does not mean that the subsequent hundred dollars will be difficult. It's the first one that's difficult. But once you are able to make the first one, for almost all of them, once you are able to make your first hundred dollars to increase it, 
becomes extremely easy. And that's why you should start a side hustle. I agree that it takes time. It takes a while to make your first $100. I agree. You see one star, one star over and over again, which means it's difficult to make your first $100. But once you are able to make that first one, other ones become extremely easy for you. So don't let the difficulty of making the first $100 to stop you. The first $100 is difficult, but once you're able to make that first $100, other ones become very easy. Become easy for you to grow and scale. So that is why you should have your own side hustle. So the competition, of course, is very high. You are on Instagram, you see that different posts there. You are on TikTok, there are a lot of people posting, posting and posting. So the competition is tough, is stiff. But if they were able to do it, you too can be able to do it. So despite the competition, I would advise you and encourage you to start. Another side hustle you can start is online recruiting. You are recruiting people for your company. Is it easy to start? No. It's difficult to start because to make a company to trust you, to recruit for them, is not an easy job. You have to be in the business for a while to, for you to attract companies to reach out to you to start recruiting for them. So it takes a while, it's difficult. It's easy to maintain. Of course, once you are able to start, to maintain it becomes extremely easy. You go to LinkedIn and start meeting people or start reaching out to people to apply for your job. The starting cost is $0. You don't pay any money to start the online recruiting business. They even pay you to recruit for them. To make your first $100 is very easy. If you're able to get a job, they will pay you about $1,000 or $2,000 for getting candidates for them. But the problem is to start. To get a company to reach out to you, to help them to recruit, is very difficult. In fact, it's supposed to be a one star. What is the level of competition? It's not competitive at all. But the problem is that most companies have HR that are responsible for recruiting. So it's only companies that don't have HR may reach out to you to help them to recruit. Because it's difficult to start, not everybody wants to start it. You see, once it's difficult to start, the competition becomes low. And once it's easy to start, the competition becomes high. So we also have selling on Amazon, either a book or some products on Amazon, even can sell t shirt on Amazon. So, and we've discussed a lot about Amazon FBA. You are buying product in bulk and selling them on Amazon website. And most times, you are buying that product from alibaba.com or aliexpress.com. Is it easy to start? It's not so easy to start selling on Amazon. It's not. I have an Amazon selling account in the US, in the UK, and several other countries. So I will tell you that it's not so easy to start. And also, it's not very difficult to start. But for you to start selling on Amazon, especially through the Amazon FBA method, you need to have enough money to buy the product in bulk that you will ship to Amazon warehouse. So I'll give it a three star rating. It's easy to maintain, of course. Once you're able to list your product on Amazon, you do nothing else to maintain it. The starting cost is extremely high. That's the problem with Amazon FBA. It takes at least $1,000 for you to start because you need to buy the item in bulk. So it takes money for you to start. So the budget is high. Is it easy to make your first $100? Remember, you are selling something online. And just like every other thing we discussed about selling online, to get your first say is not easy. It's difficult to get your first say. But once you are able to make that first say and get positive reviews and rating, it becomes easier to expand, to increase your sales, to have more sales. So it's all in between. The first say is not difficult. But once you're able to make that first say, other sales become easier. So to make your first $100 is difficult because it's a new product that you are selling. It doesn't have a review or a rating. How many times have you bought something on Amazon that does not have review or rating? It's rare. But once you're able to make your first $100, subsequent money you will make become easier for you. What is the level of competition? I'm giving it a one-star rating based on competition because there are a lot of sellers on Amazon. Do you want to sell a phone? There are other people selling phone. Do you want to sell camera or keyboard or soap? Whatever you want to sell on Amazon. There are several sellers. Amazon have tons of sellers. But a good chunk of Amazon revenue 
comes from their selling platform. So the competition there is very high. There are a lot of people buying, also there are a lot of people selling. Now, another side hustle that we have is create an app, you making an app. And we said that for an app to start, even without looking at it, it's very difficult. It's very difficult for you to start to create an app, for you to design an app is extremely difficult. Extremely difficult to start creating apps. To even make one is difficult, much more creating several apps. You need to know about coding, about US, about UI. Hello, <laughs> people that make apps most times are big companies that make apps. So for you as an individual to make it, it's very difficult. But once you've made it, it's not too difficult to maintain. But why I put two star is because you have to keep debugging it, updating it. So, and that involves work again. So that's why I'm giving it a two star rating. Now the starting cost, which is the budget, I'm giving it a five star rating because you don't pay any money to build an app. You can build it, online for free but it just involves commitment but in terms of money you don't pay any money to build an app to make your first hundred dollar is very easy if you're able to build a good app so i want to assume you make a good app that people will be interested to use so you can always monetize the app you can always put ads on the app so as long as it's a good app and people are using it your first hundred dollar is not difficult just have people using the app you can even make one billion dollars but to build an app that will be rated or be valued at 1 billion is not easy. Facebook is an app, Instagram is an app, and TikTok is an app, and their value is more than $1 billion. For you to know that building an app can be extremely profitable, but just that to start it is very difficult. It's extremely difficult to start. That's why most times it's companies that build it and have high ratings and high net worth. So if you as an individual want to do it, I expect the journey to be difficult, but the reward to be very high. What is the level of competition? It's a five-star rating because there's no competition. There are limited apps. We don't have so many apps, like so many content creators. So if you want to build an app, you are doing something that's innovative and you patent your work. So the competition is, is not even there. How many competition do we have for Facebook? How many competition do we have for TikTok? They are unique. Once you are building an app, you are building something that's unique. So the competition is very low. And also you are patenting your work, what we call a patent or patent, as some people will call it. So the competition is not even there. That's why I'm giving it a five-star rating. And the last, not the least, is freelancing. We've discussed a lot about freelancing, the gig economy where we say that you can get work on Fiverr, Upwork, Freelancer, and Guru, and that you should register on this platform and start offering all these services and more. In fact, I discuss a lot about freelancing, where I even gave you the top freelancing jobs that you can start doing as a beginner. To start freelancing is very easy. Just register on Fiverr, Upwork, on the service that you want to offer. It's extremely easy to start. And by now, you know that once it's extremely easy to start and it's cheap to start, there'll be massive competition. The competition will be intense, will be extremely high. If you want to know how competitive something can be, go to Fiverr. You'll see that a lot of people that want to offer one service. The competition is extremely high, extremely high because the starting cost is zero dollar. You don't pay any money to start. It's when your client has paid you that the website or Fiverr will take a commission from the pay that they've given to you. So they collect commission from you. So to start it is very easy, it's zero dollar. To maintain is faster because you have to do the same service for multiple clients. You have to repeat the service over and over again. You have done it for client A, you do it for client B, you do it for client C. I give it a faster because you are doing the same thing, but over and over again. So that's why I give it a faster rating. It's the same thing you are doing, so it's easy, which could have been a five star, but you are doing it for multiple clients. So that's why I reduce it to four star. How easy it is to make your first hundred dollars. You are selling your service, that is freelancing. And we've said over and over again, once you're selling something online, it needs that initial rating and review to start generating more sales. That your first hundred dollars is not easy. But once you're able to have that first hundred dollars of first sales and first review, first rating, as long as they are positive, other people now can trust to buy from you. The first one is 
difficult. To make your first $100 is difficult because you don't have initial rating or review of your service. But once you are able to get initial review and rating, as long as they are positive, they are five star rating, subsequent ones become easier. So that's why I'm giving it somewhere in the middle. And also, you can charge $100 for your first job. So to make your first $100 will not be so difficult. It's possible, it's visible to charge $100 for your first job. And also, you can charge $5 for your first job, depending on the time that it will take you to complete that job. You have to check what other people in your niche are doing. Okay, what are they charging for their service in order to use it to understand how to price your own so that your own will not be so far from theirs. You want to still be in line with the competition. So what are other people in my niche? What are they charging for this service? So you want to charge something similar to that. In fact, since you are starting, charge lower than that so that you can get people with that low price. And once you start having ratings and review, you can always increase the price of your service. So start low, let's say like $10 since you are new. And as you offer more service and have ratings and review, you can increase it to $100. So the first one is not so easy, but subsequent ones become easier. So in summary, we are saying that you should have a side hustle. It's good. I work as an analyst in an investment bank and yet I still have side hustles. This course that you are taking is one of my side hustles. So you too can start yours. It may not be creating courses. That's why I have to make this video for you to see different things that you can do. I'm just giving an example with myself that making courses is one of them. Doing day trading is one of them. And doing the t-shirt business is also one of them. And you should not start the 15 side hustle at once. Start with one. Start with one. Once you are able to start with one and start making profit, you can start multiple side hustle, but start with one and grow it to an extent. In summary, to start a side hustle is easy. It's very easy to create an account and start creating content. The main difference is that instead of being the one and join the service, you are the one creating the service or creating the product. That is just side hustle. Instead of being the one always taking, 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 you are the one that's giving. So they are easy to start, easy to create an account. They are equally easy to maintain. Most side hustles we've discussed, you've seen it. They are easy to maintain. You upload a video on YouTube and it will be there forever. So you create a design to be there on, the, on that t-shirt forever. So it's easy to maintain overall. And equally, the starting cost or the budget most times is zero dollar. Or if you want to go for a paid plan, you pay like ten dollars every month for a paid subscription, which is also not expensive. You can do it if you want to. The starting cost for most times, the budget is low. To make your first hundred dollar is not easy. Once you are selling online, to make your first hundred dollar is not easy. Whether you are selling physical product, digital product, or your service. The first hundred dollars is not easy, but we've said that that is the only problem. That is the point where people quit. Where people quit the side hustle because they have not gotten results yet within six months. But once you are able to make that first hundred dollars and get ratings and get review to increase it, to expand it, to make more, become very easy. So the first one may be difficult, but subsequent ones are very easy. That is summary. And we said that the competition is high. But since people are able to do it, you too can do it. Overall, thank you for taking this course and you've seen the importance of rating and reviewing. Please rate and review this course. Please rate and review this course so that more students can take this course. That is the way this platform works. Thank you. Of course, it's a five-star rating. It's a five-star course. Thank you. I'm available to answer all your questions in the comment section of this video. Thank you so much. Bye.